is 80%. Suppose a random sample of 16 motorcycles are observed making turns at Fordham Road and Jerome Avenue intersection. Find the probability that at least one motorcycle will change the lane while making turn. So as you see, my last video I've seen uh, probability that's it, not more than four. So this time at least one. So at least one, if you know from earlier probabilitical concept, at least one is basically one minus probability of zero or probability of none. So let's see what is given actually. So what do we have here? So we basically have the P, we also have fixed number of trial N, and also we have information about at least one. So these are the couple of things we know. So if you know this thing, we can actually check it out. That's the N equal to, and that's the phi equal to. So that's, that's the N, and that's the phi. Like that. Okay, so what does this at least one mean? At least one really mean is probability of x greater than or equal to one. That means, well, I'm gonna actually put down here to the right side. So in this case, it's 16 of them. One, two, three, all the way up to 16. So at least one, remember, if this is also zero here. So at least one, if we can somehow say, probability of everything should be one and I somehow subtract this zero here as you clearly see. So I can actually get at least one. So best, you know, at least one. So zero is in this case is also one probability here. So one minus, this is what is not happening here. At least one means what? One or more, one or more one or more you go all the way up that's what at least one mean one or more so i can just subtract one minus probability of zero i get that or i can just add all of these probability of one plus probability of two plus probability of three and so on this is going to be too much work okay so we don't want to do that actually so probability of at least one is always better if this is probability of at least two so we can say one minus probability of zero minus probability of one. That's how we can actually play with. So one minus probability of zero. What is probability of zero? Let's take a look uh, into the, so we have 16, then phi is 80 and we, we do zero. So 16 phi is 80. So let's go with binomial probability here. We go with the 16. So if you go 16, as you see it's coming down 15 and we go 16 so there's so many of them as you see so that would give us probability of 16 and n is equal to 80 percent that's 80 percent as you see n equal to 80 percent and six probability of zero so it's basically zero zero so it doesn't make much changes here so that would give us just one as you clearly see it's going to give us one minus zero so still is going to be one so this is how we find quickly or oh, the long way you add all of this that should give you one two so that's how you find uh, this kind of answer easily by using binomial distribution table